<clears throat> in this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to test a single mean using the randomization procedure. And to do that, we're going to use an example from the Lock 5 textbook uh, that's looking at whether or not uh, restaurant chain suppliers chickens have too much arsenic in them. So we're really trying to determine what level of arsenic there is and then whether or not it's a greater than a certain threshold uh, for safety. So the threshold for safety is 80 parts per billion and we are testing whether or not the average uh, arsenic level in the chickens from the supplier are at 80 or greater than 80. Greater than 80 would represent a health risk, so we want to raise that red flag. So it's going to take quite a bit of time and money in order to do this. So we're only going to have six chickens if you're looking at the data set that we have. So let's get started in Stackey. Since we're looking at a test for a single mean, that's where we'll go. In Stackey, we'll click on that option and it'll bring up this screen. Now there are some preloaded data sets none of these are what we want uh, actually it is what we want but what I want to do is show you uh, how to edit the data manually so that you can complete your homework assignment so we'll assume that it's not there so what we can do is we want to edit the data and we'll just erase all of that and we don't need a header row for our data in this uh, situation so if you're following along in the textbook the first observation is 68 the second one is 75 the third is 81, 93, 95, and 134. So those are our six observations. We click OK. It loads in our sample data. You can look at the sample statistics for this sample over here. So you see that the, means, the sample means 91 parts per billion. The median is 87. And we have a standard deviation of 23.469. Now we want to actually go look at our uh, randomization distribution, but first we need to actually change our null hypothesis here. So our null hypothesis by default is whatever the data set says it is uh, that's preloaded in Stacky. but for us we want this to be 80, uh, which is the threshold for health concerns with arsenic. So now what you'll see is that the screen over here on the left has changed, and that reflects uh, what it believes are reasonable values for the randomization distribution based on your data. Now we're ready to go generate a sample just like we were in the bootstrap uh, approach so we can generate one sample and what you'll see is that this is now assuming uh, that the mean concentration is 80 so uh, it's generating a sample that'll have a mean probably pretty close to 80 and the way it's actually doing this is using your original data and adjusting it to make sure that that original data has uh, a mean of 80 so here it would be subtracting 11 from each and every observation. Okay, so we can do this a couple times, uh, once at a time, and you'll see the randomization sample down in the bottom right of the screen, and you'll see now that it's jumping around the center, right, the null hypothesis value, just like the bootstrap distribution was hopping around the value for the sample statistic. So this is what we'll expect that the randomization distribution is centered around the value specified in our null hypothesis. Now we can generate a couple thousand samples here to fill out this randomization distribution uh, and we can go and calculate our p-value based on this. So if we do that we have a right-tailed test if you're looking at that uh, alternative hypothesis. So you click on right tail and enter the value that we've observed, which remember was 91. And so you see that uh, there are quite a few values that have um, 90 or, or at 91 or above under the null hypothesis.